Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Tom. I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm good too. So, what do you do every day? Well, I usually wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Then, I brush my teeth and wash my face. And you? What time do you usually wake up in the morning? I usually wake up at 6.30. After that, I take a shower and get dressed. That's great. After getting ready, I have breakfast. I like to eat cereal with milk. I like cereal too, but I usually have toast with jam for breakfast. Then, I pack my bag for school. Oh, I pack my bag too. I put my books and notebook inside. Cool. I walk to school because it's nearby. How do you go to school? My mom drives me to school every day. After school, I come back home and have lunch. What do you like to do for fun after school? After school, I usually play with my friends. We play soccer or ride bikes together. That sounds like fun. I like to do homework after lunch. Then, I watch cartoons on TV. I watch cartoons too. In the evening, I help my mom set the table for dinner. I help my mom with dinner too. After dinner, I brush my teeth and go to bed. Me too. I brush my teeth and then my mom reads me a bedtime story. That's nice. My mom reads me a story too sometimes. Well, it was nice talking to you, Tom. You too, Sarah. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tom. See you tomorrow. How was school today, honey? It was good, Mom. We had a math test, and I think I did pretty well on it. That's great to hear. Did you have any other classes that you enjoyed? Yes, I had art class today, and we started working on a new project. I'm excited about it. That sounds like fun. What kind of project is it? We're doing a painting project where we have to create a landscape using watercolors. I can't wait to see how it turns out. That sounds like a creative assignment. Do you need any supplies for it? No, my teacher said she'll provide all the materials we need. She's really good about making sure we have everything for our projects. That's good to hear. Did anything else interesting happen at school today? Well, during lunch, my friends and I were talking about our plans for the weekend. We're thinking of going to the movies on Saturday. That sounds like a fun idea. Have you decided which movie you want to see? Not yet, but we're thinking of watching the new superhero movie that just came out. It's supposed to be really good. That sounds like a great choice. Just make sure to check the movie times and let me know what time you'll be back home. I will, Mom. Thanks. Did you get to spend time with your friend Tom at school today? Yes, Mom. Tom and I had a lot of fun during recess. We played tag and he even helped me with my math homework during lunch. That's nice to hear. Tom sounds like a good friend. Have you known him for a long time? Yeah, we've been friends since kindergarten. He's always been really nice to me, and we get along really well. It's great to have friends like that. Do you two have any plans to hang out outside of school soon? We're actually planning to work on a science project together this weekend. It's about space exploration, and Tom is really good at coming up with creative ideas. That sounds like a fun project. I'm glad you have someone like Tom to work on it with. Let me know if you need any help gathering materials or researching information. Thanks, Mom. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Tom and I are really excited about the project, and I think it's going to turn out really well. Mom, can you read me a bedtime story tonight? Of course, sweetie. Which story would you like to listen? Can you read The Adventures of Peter Pan?
I love the part where Peter takes Wendy to Neverland. That's a wonderful choice. Let's cuddle up and start reading. Are you ready? Yes, Mom. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, in a faraway place called London. Dot there lived a boy named Peter Pan who could fly and never grew up. That's right. Peter Pan lived in a magical place called Neverland, where he had many adventures with his friends, the Lost Boys. I wish I could fly like Peter Pan and visit Neverland. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? But for now, we can use our imaginations to journey with Peter and Wendy to faraway lands. Mom, why does Captain Hook hate Peter Pan so much? Well, Captain Hook is jealous of Peter because he's brave and adventurous. Plus, Peter is always outsmarting him. I don't like Captain Hook. He's mean to Peter and his friends. That's true, but remember, good always triumphs over evil in the end. Now, let's find out what happens next in Peter's adventure. Okay, Mom. I can't wait to see how it ends. Me too, sweetie. Now, close your eyes and let your imagination take you to Neverland. Good night, honey.